and hovered above me. I saw no shadow. I looked around, searched every building and home that I found. I saw no shadow, but felt a glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. I felt like heaven and found my bones and gave me comfort when I feel alone. Now you're gone, I'm alone. I guess it's time to get better. Best friend, she's 23. She left her body and hovered above me. Dying again and again. I went through hell instead of death, but I keep fighting with each living breath. I saw no way out from where I stood. Felt like the fire had burned me for now. You're gone, I'm alone. I guess it's time to get better. Through the pain, I will go alone. If I fall. Hello, readers and digital people, and welcome to this Soul Corp produced production, also known as GP Reads. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I got this little light up ball for Christmas, and it's got this little smiley face, and I'm just now showing it. I don't know why, but. Well, I say Christmas, but it was a Christmas party that happened like two weeks ago. Like, it was a super delayed Christmas party. <laughs> like, ridiculously delayed. Yeah, it lights up when you shake it and squish it. Anyway. How are you all doing? So glad to be back into the live dives. I am back at Sloth Reads today instead of Grant Reads, but <laughs> we're still going to have fun with it. Uh, this series is very interesting. It's something I haven't really done a lot of. It's uh, the part of analog horror that's more so PC games, like haunted PC games, uh, horror-based PC games. Like they're hiding a hidden story, a creepy story within PC games. It's a really cool niche subgenre in analog horror that I really have not covered hardly at all. So I'm really excited to cover this series. Of course, this is an independent creator. It is a smaller creator, so make sure to show them some love. The link to their series and their web and their YouTube channel is in the description below. I don't have their socials yet, but when I get those, I will also add that to the description of this after they've been uh, no longer live. Good to see you all. Glad to have you here. Again, super excited to be getting back into live dives. We got Deku. Good to see you, my friend. Candy Cat Girl. Good to see you. Roxy. Always a pleasure. Pandora's World. Welcome. That's a new name. This is awesome, says Pixie Bird. Good to see you as well, and good to see you, Zeus, my good old friend. How are things across the pond? And Riri, woo! Good to see you, Liv. Always a pleasure for that one. 
Oh, is that that's another Zeus? Hello, other Zeus. <laughs> yes. All right. Tonight we are going to be looking into a analog horror series that I have not before. We're doing what I call a live dive, which is where I'll watch the series. I'll try to break it down as I go, and I'll come up with theories as I go. And then we'll also delve into the social medias and things like that and really give it a full, deep, scrubby dive. That's a weird word to use, scrubby, but that's what we're going to use. It's, it's going to be a very scrubby dive. So let's go ahead and get freaking started. Yeah, it, Pixie Bird looks awesome. I'm excited to see what... For, for, I haven't seen all of it. I've just went through it to get pictures for the thumbnail, so I have not seen it. That's why the video is like partially watched. I was getting a thumbnail. Scr I was scrubbing through, but... Very excited to get into this one. Looks really good. Really? One of your favorite things come out of modern nonfiction, Roxy? Okay. Mini use. Yeah, that it happens all the time. <laughs> Alright, let's jump right in. And I do have it in Brave. If for anyone who wants to watch YouTube without ads, don't tell them I said that. But hey, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I officially retired from the algorithm today. That doesn't mean I'm going to upload less. It means I can upload more. I'm going to upload more of what I want to upload and not really care what goes with the algorithm. If I don't want to upload a short today, I'm not going to upload a short today because I am free now. So let's freaking do this. I'm in such a good mood. All right, first video on the channel is called First Video. Oddly enough. Let me make sure I start at the beginning, because I was, again, trying to get that thumbnail. Throw a like on it. Always go to the description first. The description says, time to relax. It has little brackets for some reason. And it has a comment that says fire. I don't know if I can do emoji. Yeah, I can do emojis. Okay. I'm going to type in water. Because if you're going to do fire, I'm going to do water. Pop it's a rock, paper, scissors, Pokemon thing. Okay. Let's get into it. Can y'all hear this Okay. Before we get super into it, let me know if this is loud enough. It's summer. My name's Matilda. I love to draw and learn about different types of animals and other living things and go on. It's funny that you say you love to learn about animals and stuff, but you also like to go deer hunting. I mean, I get it, but you know, <laughs> I mostly, what I'm trying to say is when I go deer hunting, I take a camera instead of, you know, anyway, I'm just weird like that, I guess. I'm mostly just making this channel to keep me occupied since I have a lot of free time. So I can make sure the audio is good. Because YouTube is is greedy, that's why there's an ad. Even when I don't monetize the streams, they still get ads. I don't know. I'm going to miss my friends and so many other things on this trip, but it will still be really fun. We finally get to go away for everything. We're staying at a cabin in my favorite park in the next few months. We're visiting a lot of family, but I don't really mind. I'm excited to explore the forest and hang out by the lake. I also like to go deer hunting. So that'd be a lot of fun. Why'd you say that twice? Like, are you actually hunting deer or are you hunting people? Because that makes you think you're hunting people. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't be... Let's see. I'm sorry, I won't try to pretend that I think I'm doing this for no specific reason, though. I also just want a distraction from the things I've heard. I love these old graphics! Oh my gosh. Old PC graphics get me. Like, this reminds me of, like, baby me. I used to, my dad had a bunch of PC games, and we used to play them together. There's a lot of, uh, you ever heard of an old game called Killing Time? That's the one we used to play together all the time when I was a little kid. It scared me to death. There's a lot of screeps out there, or out everywhere, especially now. What is a screep? Will we learn that soon? Sorry, I'm just really excited today. I don't want to bother my family. Maybe if I just be careful, they won't do anything. I guess I'm not really fully sure if they'll do anything in the first place anyway. What are you talking about? I'll just have to see. What do you think they're gonna do? Please be safe out there, friends. But yeah, it gives me the Killing Time vibes for sure. That old PC game that I love so much. Definitely getting some major, like, 90s PC games. Stuff my dad would show me. He started me on horror. Like, no wonder I love analog horror and ARGs and unfiction. My dad started me off on Killing Time when I was a child. <laughs> All right, fish is the comment, so I'm going to reverse that with steak. All right, put a like on there. Sorry if the screeches are a bit loud. I didn't notice. Okay, so talking about like, they're talking about the cicada screeches. I didn't notice the moment, but I guess they had gotten pretty close. 
Go ahead and get out of there in time. Alright, so these last few days have been pretty good. We got the cabin safe. It's uh, it's good to be back. And from what I've... Okay, let me stop for a second. We got to the cabin safe. It's good to be back. And from what I've seen, we usually have the area to ourselves. Though I haven't really been out much yet, for obvious reasons. Welcome to Bienvenidos. 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 I've been staying inside mostly, at least in the day, so my family's so my family's been quiet. They've been sweet. They gave me space. That seems mysterious. What family is quiet and gives you peace? <laughs> I've been looking around the house. There's a Nintendo Switch in one of the drawers. Okay, so this is a modern series, because they have Nintendo Switches, but it's like analog. Like, what kind of time warping crap is this? Not that it's bad, it's just like, whoa, this is different. I'm pretty sure it's mine, but I haven't found a charger yet. But I'll keep you posted, so they're probably going to find an old video game and get sucked in. That's my theory. Also found a ton of paper, which is perfect for drawing. I've just been using this computer for drawing with a mouse pad, but it can be hard. Period. Anyway, my family convinced me to go outside. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and get... Let's see what the file name is for this drawing. I probably need that. It's probably important. If it shows it, it does not show it. But I'm guessing that's them. That's the main person. You know, my family convinced me to go outside and do some fishing with them. I'm pretty sure the park is closed today, unless they're staying in a cabin, so we pretty much find, had it to ourselves. There's a bunch of dead fish that y'all caught. Well, I mean, they weren't dead when you caught them, but you know. They're dead from being caught. They're very bloody. But they must have just been filleted. I was worried, but it was nice to not have to think so much for a little bit. That's what I'm here for anyway, right? Right. I love the pixel art so much. After that, I just had to... I sat by the lake for a while. You know, the weird little world. You can see in the reflection of the water. It's so silly. I love it. I guess I didn't realize how long I stayed out there. Hmm. I felt safer at night, but around this time, I heard some things. That's a weird sound. It looks like a glitch. Pretty sure this is what Screech sounds like. Can we not? That's kind of creepy. Why is it going on so long? If I heard that in the middle of the night... Well, for one, if I'm going to be in the woods, I'm going to have a shotgun. But yeah, still, I'm going to be a little nervous in the woods with that at night. That's been my closest encounter since I got here. I didn't say I didn't have a weapon. I'm just saying I don't use it on random animals. But that, I'm just weird like that. There probably isn't any avoiding them. But I might not come back here at this time of day again. I'm sorry. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Whoa, whoa, something changed. What changed? Took off, I'm sorry. Are you feeling regret for that? Or is it somebody else saying I'm sorry? That one was called The Sounds of Night. First one was just called First Video. Second one, Sounds at Night. Third one is called Light Creature. Let's pause Light Creature. Throw on that like. The description says, I'm worried. I hope you've, hope you've been having a nice day. Texas weather feels unpredictable sometimes. Make sure to have a coat on you if you're going out. I haven't found any at the cabin, but maybe you can for yourself. You think we're going to go to the cabin? You crazy? Hmm. This comment might be in character. I'm going to read it. Hey, dude, it's Sammy. Just checking in to make sure everything's okay. This video is the first time I've heard from you in a while, and I'm getting a bit worried. Are you actually worried something's going to get you out there? And what are these screw things you mentioned? Just want to make sure you're all right. Hi, friend. Thank you so much for commenting. It's so good to hear from you. Yes, I'm okay. Just having to deal with a few things. You know how it goes. Maybe it's nothing to worry about. I hope you're having a good summer, though. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this Sam Archer is going to be an actual character. Yeah, we'll keep this open. Let me go back to the other comments real quick since we're just on episode three. And we open those up real quick and check those comments. All right, sounds at night. Yeah, it was just the fish thing. And then the first video. 
Yeah, it was just a fire thing. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, this one's called Light Creature. And it says, I definitely saw something last night, but I'll talk about how I've been doing first. These are some weird drawings, my friend. There's a bunch of um, human skeletal remains mixed in with the dead fish and stuff. Did you find that at the park? Do you need help? What, is there a sea monster that I see over there underneath it? Let's turn this into monster one second. I don't want text going off the whole time. Okay. All right. Yeah, totally normal summer camp. For a bit, I tried getting out more. I've been, I've been taking walks around the forest. Gosh, this is pretty. I love the forest. Mostly at night, but I can barely film then. Hello? Why are you freaking around at night? Walking around the woods at night. Some of the leaves are stand starting to fall on the trees that aren't evergreens. This is one of the most this is one of my most favorite times. I love fall too. Autumn colors are amazing. And the smells. Just everything about autumn. I was feeling silly, so I went to find a tree to climb. Sounds like me. <laughs> I streamed from a clock from a uh, tree before. Almost up to the five. I fell down though. <laughs> I've never climbed a tree before to be honest. How? It was still fun, but I feel really bad. How did you not climb trees when you were a kid? Apparently you weren't born in the south because we climbed trees from like age three and up. <laughs> it's just part of growing up. Go barefoot and climb a tree. Look back here. So we heard the squeak. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I got really curious. I don't know what I was thinking, but the screep sounds I heard last night, um, heard last time sounded so familiar. Maybe I just missed staying, studying a fancy creature. What do you mean by fancy creature? I went a bit earlier in the day at first and actually heard a lot more of them, but I was too chicken to check them out. Instead, something came to me. What was it? Sorry for the strange effect. I think my front camera's broken a little. Based on what I had noticed, I thought that Screeps didn't come out uh, very late at night. So I went back there again around that time to relax. Ah, that's why you're going out at night. Stay away from these Screep creatures you keep talking about. Okay, there's like a code in that. I'm going to have to go back and collect those, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to check and see. After a while, I had sat down. I heard leaves quietly uh, rustling behind me. I turned around to look and didn't see anything at first. I don't know exactly what I saw when it appeared. It was shorter, a sort of humanoid thing, standing on two legs. Ew. With a light at the end of what I guess was to be its hands. Okay, that is a cryptid, and it's very creepy. How are you okay with this? Yeah, there's definitely a code there. That's a long code, though. We're talking, like, 30-ish frames. We'll do that kind of stuff at the end. I'll just make a note. Light creature has code. When I, <clears throat> when I saw it, it's, we stared at each other for a few seconds. The light pointed near me, which made me freeze for a moment. I couldn't get the best view of what it looked like. We both stood there. At first, I was terrified, but things got weirdly calm, and then it bolted off. So it made you calm? Or just, like, weird? I tried to follow it to get a closer look, but I ran away as fast as I could when it started roaring. <laughs> what it sound like? Like the clicking things? Weird. So that's what it looked like. It looks like Rain Evans, a little bit. <laughs> could it be a Screep that went rogue and tried to shift into something else? That's what I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I was. I don't know if that's possible, but I learn new things about them every day. Yeah, it's weird. I'm I'm worried and scared, a bit freaked out. I don't know what to do. Maybe the area just shouldn't be a place I go. <laughs> Random kitten down there. Cute. Alright, before I move on though, let me check. Just to make sure that it was actually a code. Don't know if I need to keep my notes or not to actually go back here. If it is a code. It's a little bit blurry, so it's going to be... I'm going to have to clean it up in Photoshop, so I'm going to have to do that after the fact. 
Oh, I want to interview the creator after this. I've missed doing that, interviewing the creator after I do a live dive. I want to start doing that again. So if you all can get in contact with the creator of this series, let me know, and I would love to interview them. Just do a quick five questioner. Like a 15-ish minute interview, something like that, if you're down for that. Okay, I can't catch the glitches. Wait till there's one. Try to stop it right on it. Ah, darn it. The ones at the bottom are going to be the hardest to get. Okay, maybe I can catch that one. One second, bear with me. Darn it. <laughs> My reaction time is off. There we go. Okay, no. There is not a code in that. I think it's just the camera's messing up. There may be a code later, but we'll keep that in mind. All right, after light creature is number one. This is where that weird video game thing I was talking about takes place. Like, it actually starts becoming a video game, more or less, at this point. All right, and there's a code right off the bat in the description, and it tags that Sam channel again, which I do have now. Okay. Watch this before it goes viral. I'm not right. I feel like this might. Okay. Didn't see any Sammy ones or anything connected in the comments. All right. Let's go ahead and watch the video, and then we will decode this. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. We'll jump right in. Really, really well done. That really did look like a car in the old video games. Like, whoever made this, you have a very, very high knowledge of 90s video games. The way they're designed, the way they look. Oh my gosh. Bridge. Oh hey, I don't, I don't think I was able to see you much. How, how did things go today? Why are the eyes on the side of the head? It, it was alright. Still kind of getting back into the swing of things. It was this one family's first time here, really so good. I gave them the tour. Also, a guy got into some poison ivy, but that was pretty much the most eventful thing that happened. So your tour guide. What about a few hours ago? Park Ranger. Uh, report you want to check out or something? Oh yeah. I mean... It wasn't much. No one had really been going in the area anyway, but someone said they saw something weird looking by the eastmost side of the lake. I took a look. It was just a coyote. You sure? Of course. It was just a bit bigger than usual, so I was a little surprised. Okay, well, they're definitely not normally out this far, and I, I guess we should put up a notice or something. I, I thought nasty. Was this is where they were there. staying. Oh, before we continue, this is where they were staying, because there's the drawings on the table, but, like... It looks super abandoned. Everything's really dirty. I guess we should put up a notice or something. I, I thought there was already something there, though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. So this is after what ha something happened to the people from before, I guess? Maybe whoever saw it was just passing by. Yeah. Hey, you probably shouldn't go around there much either. I'm not okay, so there's a bunch of, like, scared kids with their faces marked out. It's kind of creepy. Uh, spider webs. These are definitely notes on the screeps. They look like skulls usually with bat wings and then they transform maybe? Not a lot of this is covered up and blurred out, so especially the entries are blurred out. Not worried. I'll have to wait on say, that. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. You're doing great, dude. Thanks. You too. There's a lot going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and decode this message. Uh, we'll use um, decoder. We'll just keep this up because we'll probably need it again. We'll try to brute force it. All right. Uh, pretty sure this is just a Caesar. Let's type in. I'm not sure, but let's see. Spelled Caesar wrong. It's A-E, not E-A. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, it's not a Caesar. So let's open up our second tool. Um, 
uh, cipher uh, recognizer. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Uh, no, is I usually don't use them. I usually use the uh, Bicentrix. All right, let's analyze it and see what it thinks it is. It is monoalphabetical substitution. It is a substitution cipher. It's a different kind. Let's try it and see. I'm not sure what the frequency of the key is going to be. It's a problem. Mm. I have to come back to this one. Let's see what was the title of that video. That might actually be the code. Which is called one. Let's try one. Let's just say the key is one. Mm, how do we do it manually? Let's auto solve it so I meant to do. There we go. I was not scared. I shouldn't be. I was not scared, I shouldn't be scared. I must, did not want to be seen, but uh, we are not honest with each other. Hmm. I was not scared, I shouldn't be scared. I just don't want to be seen. We are not honest with each other. Okay, so they were actually in that house. The house was not abandoned. Whatever family is there, they're actually hiding in that cabin still, in that dirty cabin. Which makes you think that he's actually, whoever this person is, is actually alone. And they don't have family with them, and they're like actually just hiding in an abandoned cabin because maybe their family were killed by screeps or something like that. All right, next one is what are they, or what they are. All right, it's in the description it says I hope this clears up some things, my friends. Thanks for watching. It helps me feel less lonely out there in the wilderness. All right. So this, the comments aren't really anything to do with the story, but this one here actually does say something interesting. It's by Secret XX Stars. It says, that's weird about the video that get posted. Maybe you can check if any strange devices have signed into your account. Or have you noticed anyone hanging around lately? Stay safe out there. And they, Matilda Olive, which is, the I guess, the person speaking in this series, um, says, hmm, that's a good idea. I'll see if I can help. Uh, I'll see if I can keep a lookout for that. Thanks for the advice. Let's see what's going on. There's been a few silly things happening recently. Seri sillier than usual, at least. Okay. I feel better about going outside, but it's because I haven't felt the best at the house. So there's Matilda. Or was it Matilda? Yeah. There's her house. Or the cabin. Look how high it is. I feel like it's that high because it's keeping the people away from the scrubs. I'm not sure what it is. It just hasn't been the same for a while. Feels like there's something there that shouldn't be, and it's almost like it's judging me. Hmm. Feeling a presence. Weird. I feel like it's because of a strange video that appeared on my channel a bit ago, the one with a number file for a name. The one we saw with the police report, or the uh, the uh, park security, or and or uh, the uh, park rangers. Number one. Yeah. I wonder if Matilda's in a different dimension, maybe. Like, slightly out of reach. I don't think so, though, because she said she was hiding. So, I don't know. Maybe it is, but in the video, it had a house that looked just like the one I'm staying in. Yeah, but it was all torn up. I wonder if you, I wonder if Matilda's a spirit. And the place is actually all abandoned and destroyed now, and she's just hanging around in, like, a echo of how it used to be. I'm sure it's not mine. I'm guessing it's another at this park. But I get an easy when I look at it. But those are the different houses? Wait, it says me, and it points over there. So I guess there's different houses, but there's also someone out in a boat, apparently. Interesting. By the way, I found a charger for my Nintendo Switch. There's so much I'm excited to play. <laughs> that was loud. Something that only I only just realized is that a lot of y'all probably don't actually know what screeps are. My bad. I don't blame you. It can be pretty hard to spot. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. They're like, slug thing? What creatures or spirits? Whatever creature I saw last time still worries me, but I want to try and go out again. So like hopefully help you understand what I'm doing with them. You wouldn't mind for just a little bit, right? Sure.
Goops are simple looking animals, but they are very big and have a lot of eyes. The main thing that sets them apart from other animals is how malleable they are, so they can't shape shift. Weird. Scroop stand for like spirit creeps. They are only found in the desert, but can live most anywhere and eat anything they come across. Weird. Parks in Texas look a lot different. The way they can catch prey is with camouflage. They're able to blend in easily and look like something completely different in the blink of an eye. Oh, that stick! Did you see that? Did you guys freaking see that? That stick was actually alive. That tree? Yeah, it's moving. Or was that? Or was it that like plastic we were supposed to be looking at? Now we're getting actual 3D animation here, which is cool. Look at that arm. There's some eggs. Weird. And they had eyes. Oh, they're screeps. Okay, there's park ranger it looks like they're carnivores which is why i've been so worried these past few days they've been known to attack humans in the past show them yeah sure click it show them <laughs> that's why you always need to be cautious if you're in the forest or a crowded city the only way you can tell that something is a screep is if it has no eyes oh weird it's like slender man would slender man if, if, if slender man's canon in this would he be a screep all right, we're looking through our inventory now. It's almost like the main character's trapped in a video game and doesn't realize it. They think it's real world. The good thing is that they only turn... Wait. The good thing is they can only turn into trees and other plants like that. Nothing that could run or chase you. But it's still really scary because of their ability to change your size. Yeah, that is creepy. See the trees shifting. Since they only usually eat flowers and other small weeds, there hasn't been an attack on any people from what I know. That's completely reverse of what you just said. You just said they were carnivores. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, maybe I misread something here. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? It's like they're doing a cover-up. It's so weird. What the actual heck? Unless they've changed? Maybe they've adapted, become more violent as of recent? <laughs> weird. So yeah, the kid is the, the screep because they have no eyes, I'm assuming. Or it's the trees because trees are also shifting. Weird. Or the, I think we're actually just reading like an old entry before they went uh, predator on us. That's about the gist of it. Sorry I couldn't find much to show, but I guess that's a good thing. I hope that I was able to help you understand my situation better. Not really, because you just contradicted yourself like crazy, unless it was in the past they were vegetarians and now they become carnivores because something that shifted and changed in them. I don't know. Alright, next is a sign. Drop a like, read the description. Who was it to tell me where to go? What did it what did it know wait what did it know about what's dangerous or not? I wonder what scrapes do when they're cold. Maybe they burrow or something. Someone upon the weird side of YouTube again. <laughs> Alright. Nothing on that yet. Let's continue. Why does it always freeze so late? Texas doesn't get cold enough. It's cold. There's ice everywhere. I don't think cars can drive anywhere. This is a little too cold, though. Not that there would be any nearby. It just feels lonelier for some reason. It's acting like it's a desert. Is it like that everywhere in Texas? Where it's really hot during the day, really cold at night? I haven't been able to find any coats or shoes yet, but I've still been exploring around. Cold weather used to give my used to give me bloody noses. I took a path with less ice and found this swing that looked like it hadn't been used in a million years. It's just a random swing in the middle of the woods. So I know you're in a park, but like... <laughs> just one swing. That's all the park has, so they like broke park. But that was earlier this month. What did that say? It'll probably just show us again in a second. Yeah, it says... Um, something for life, Matilda. Alright, I do not like feeling so unsure of so many things, so I started to keep track of any creature I see in the forest. Okay, this is a list of creatures. Shell creature, armadillo. 
Big tail creature, squirrel. Long creature, snake. Fast creature, wolf looks like. Flying creature, birds. Delicate creature, butterfly. Bat creature, bat. Uh, ear creature is a fox. Silly creature looks like a cat. Uh, stinging creature, bee. Hopping creature, bunny. So quite a few of each. Uh, termites. Swimming creature. It's an axolotl, looks like. Round creature. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Badger, maybe? Leg creature. Not really sure what that is, either. Whoa, wait a minute. There was something on there. That last one. Sneaky creature's a lizard. And the last one looks like Screep. And looks like a skull, again. I guess it's not really the main thing I wanted to talk about. Though, there's something else less alive that I've noticed. Ever since I got here, I stayed relatively close to the cabin. A day that went particularly far, I found this blank signpost. That was extremely loud. You're in a video game, my dude. I didn't know what it was for, or if there was a reason for it in the first place, but I decided to use this as a marker for my limit on how far I went. When I saw this, I usually go back. To be honest, I hadn't really checked the other side to see if it was there. I see if there was something secretly written there. Since I was feeling pretty adventurous today, I decided to take a look. Flip it. Flip the sign. And it is. Trail closed. This trail is uh, temporarily blocked off for something. Maybe it'll tell us. It's kind of... Yeah, there we go. This trail is temporarily blocked off for maintenance and general upkeep of the area. We apologize for the inconvenience. It was pretty digitally. But there's no until date, so it's permanent. This was a little funny, wasn't it? If they were telling people the trail was closed, wouldn't it be facing the other way? You'd think. Unless something else flipped it around. <laughs> More paper animation. I'm, I'm oblivious. Wait. I'm obviously here staying at the cabin. There's no trip. There's no way this trail would be closed. It wouldn't make any sense. You'd think. How long have you been at this cabin? That's my question. It's like forever? Just living here? Something there. Should I be talking to my parents about this? Yeah, where are your parents? Just about everything. I don't want to make a big deal out of it, out of it but every, but everything has felt so off since we got here. I just don't want them to get mad. What do you mean by that? There are so many things I could get angry about if I told them. What did you do? Are you talking about like sneaking out looking at the scropes at night and stuff, or what? It's been a little bit since I last saw them at the house. I'm sure everything's fine, but what if they're mad at me? I haven't been doing anything wrong, I swear. Yeah, they're probably, they've probably been killed. I promise, I'm doing my best. I really don't mean to mess anything up. I didn't mess anything up, right? Please, I'm getting cold. Can somebody hear me? Can you hear me? Am I speaking right now? What's going on? Okay. And there's a squirrel. A very multiple-eyed lizard. With six legs. Oh my gosh, it's coming! Stop it! Get it away from me! <laughs> What is this madness down here? What is that saying? It's like upside down or something. I can barely read what it says. I'm, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to decode that. Sorry. Wait, I think it's just backwards. Or what is it saying it over there? I think it's saying it. I don't know. It's still hard to read it. I think it's just messed up text. It's a lightning tail. It's like a Pokemon. Like a mutated Pokemon. Like Ultra Beast or something. Once your house. Is that your mom? Did your mom get transformed into this? Yep. There's kid and parent. This is one of its parents. Or one of Matilda's parents. I'm completely fine and overreacting too much. Um, there's some serious crap going down here. <laughs> this is getting way more uh, messed up than I thought. Well. How to sew and some other relaxing stuff with Matilda. We kind of need a break after that. That was insane. I think I need a break. Yeah, we do too, Matilda. That was a lot of information to absorb. You don't have permission to change access of other accounts. Okay. Who told you that? Who told you that? I'm going to ask before I watch the video. Just in case it doesn't answer it. 
and I'm going to delete that comment if it answers it. But that'll give me that'll give them plenty of time. Ooh, that's cool looking. Not for making videos really, they help, just from everything else. I feel you on that one. Sorry for my little moment in the last video, I'm fine. I'm just thinking too much again. Ha 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 ha. That made me think. I'm on this trip to relax, right? Right? So I'm going to try to do something fun to actually get my mind off of things. Like the beach in the woods. The wood <laughs> actually go to the beach in my woods. I need to show you all, it's weird. What do you do when you need to relax? Good question. I ask myself this all the time. I think to relax, you need to do crafts. I've been wanting to try sewing. Sewing's okay. I actually hemmed my pants recently. I don't have any materials, though. Hmm. But who says I can't find things outside that'll do just as good? Yeah, twigs are not gonna be good for sewing. I'm sorry. What are you doing? What is that element? Like, template. Do yourself sewing in the forest. Step one. First, you want to get a small, sharp stick that can act as the needle for sewing. This will be a freaking big thing to sew. It might break, so make sure to keep a few on hand. Not literally on your hand. That would hurt. Yeah, that's like it's like cut off. Um, next, you can find something to use to make things out of. I found a few scraps of fabric snagged on a bush. Yeah, probably something got kidnapped or eaten. <laughs> but if you don't have any of that nearby, then you can probably use something else. Yeah, that's <laughs> Wait, you're gonna use actual fabric with a stick? That's not gonna work. Next, we need to find a stand, uh, a stand-in for thread. I actually don't have any ideas for what I can use, so this tutorial might be unfinished for now. Sorry. <laughs> You tried. What the heck? Why are we going through Matilda's settings? <laughs> no poop on it. Add or remove managers. I better go someone in the comments to just to check my account to see if anyone uh, else was signed in. As an explanation for that strange video I didn't post, maybe. Okay. Yeah, go to managers. I didn't really know how to check, but I found something about a brand account. Matilda. Oh, weird. <whistles> we are not focusing on that today because I am having a stress-free day. There's quite a few. Looks like connected. Weird. Means we got to find all those channels. One of them is probably Sammy. Let's see if we can point out Sammy in that. Maybe that last one's kind of brownish. After some good sewing, I decided to go camping. Maybe it's silly because that's uh, sort of what I've already been doing, but it's another good reason to get out of that house. I found this really cool valley-looking thing. It felt like a little enchanted spot. I loved it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. After exploring a bit, I built a shelter and settled in for the night. What? You're going to sleep in that? That little stick hut? That seems kind of dangerous. Okay, Matilda. It's not very protective, though. Whoa. What's this? Hmm. Well, definitely relaxing enough. I'm done. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've relaxed enough. There's a big hole in the ground. You should probably get out of there. It's probably a scrub. Yep. There's the sound. You have your laptop out there with you? <laughs> You brought it out to your little shack in the woods. What the heck? Coalition of parents and like-minded individuals for the protection of wildlife and our well-being in Texas. Stop the screeps. We need you to help in the fight to save ourselves and our children from being in impending fear and danger. These animals are unnatural and cause nothing but violence. If you have the ability to be a... Uh, have the ability to be a critical thinking member of our good American society, then you will surely stand with us in this fight. We will not sleep. Wait. wait. We will not be sheep and fall into the radical agendas that make anim the animal lovers and wildlife parks have been trying to push on us and our children. These screeps, unnatural abilities, are not something that is good or should be seen as typical. Hmm. 
Okay. I want to let's see. Can you see the website in the URL bar? Because I need to go there. Good to know there's some people standing against these creatures. You know what they remind me of? They're like the Fae or like spirit creatures from Avatar. Okay, we'll go back. Let's see if we find that address. Uh, oh no, it's kind of blurry. Stop the scrapes. Did I say Wix ab site? I can't read what it says. It's 2547 something. It's kind of blurry. Maybe I'll have it later on. Need to remember how to sew and some other relaxing stuff has that though, just in case we have to go back to find it. Alright, now we're on to video number two. Back with the park rangers. Need to go back. Uh, this is what I got thumbnail from. Alright, we are never making a video this long again. <laughs> Hope it was worth the wait though. It might be another bit until the next video from us. But who is us? There's just been a lot going on. Maybe you can tell. I guess the park rangers? Until then. Sadly, I don't know how Matilda is doing against the Park Rangers. Alright, let's do it. And it's an old style video game! Hey, hey guys! Hey, dude. Hi! You can still piss, but they had to take up your shift. It was important! Besides, I've done it all week, they'll be fine. I just needed to check up on some things, you know? You seen Nessie yet? Her name is Bella, and no, I haven't seen her for a while. Uh, Nessie's kinda cute, though. Call an underwater one that or something. Besides, we've already agreed that whoever finds the creature first gets to name it. You've already got Maximilian. Oh my god, why'd you name it that? <laughs> He's literally the best. Y'all are just jealous I'm so good at naming him. Yes. Sure. Whatever you say. Anyway, what are you doing later? I was thinking about staying here tonight. I found a shit ton of bad looking movies in a case behind the TV. Maybe if y'all want, we can all watch some. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> nice. I'll text me. Maybe they can pick up some popcorn or something. Text who? Keeps bleeping out the names. It's like Max, though. Oh. <laughs> they got disconnected. I think. Maybe I'll call them later. The forest is so cool, man. I'm so glad I got this job. Yeah, being a park ranger would be a cool job. Like the forest also. not out today? Where are they? Where is anything? So, I'm all fucking back home, right? And, and of course, this is right after the horror movie, movie, so I'm already on edge. But do you want to know what I see? A tree right by my house has blood coming out of it. I, I said this. But this was me. Not just open or anything. Not just me seeing sap and thinking it looks like blood because it's dark. No! Real dark red blood coming from inside the tree. I can't march oh, through this. Oh my gosh. So the trees are basically coming to life and killing people, eating people. It's revenge of planet Earth on humanity. That is crazy. We're gonna do cheer up. Um, hug, I guess? That's intense. That's a really intense premise. <laughs> Wait, yeah, there was something hidden. I thought there might have been. Nah, just, just move the text. Looking tree. Now you're making me afraid of trees. Stop creeping me out with trees, dude. That's not cool.
Hello, homeless person. What's going on? Why did they just make the video wider? Like, what was the point of that? And why was it so freaking unsettling? What, it said something. It says, um... It said something. It's a website. Oh, that's a Gmail. Copal? Wait, Copal? Copal. Let's see. I'm gonna write that down. My notes. It's Copal? Miffed? Copal Miffed Pow? A O W I T at Gmail. Interesting. Copal Miffed Pow Wow. I keep hearing noises in my head. So clear in all my dread. I'm kind of nervous. The car is self-driving. It's a car. I don't know. These GPSs are, always tell me to drive off the road. What if the automatic car drives off the road? <laughs> Loading. With a hat. It's a nice hat. Yeah. Um, I remember first pitching my idea to the studio. There was a lot of stuff I had to do, obviously, but one of the main things was to make a bit of a proof of concept before an actual pilot. I literally just took a bunch of random artifact looking things from around my apartment and set it around my table to make it look interesting. <laughs> I was hoping I could get somewhere with it, of course. I worked really hard to make it sound like a good idea. But part of me really wasn't expecting it to actually take off. I couldn't believe they were seriously considering my show. A lot changed after it got greenlit. I was super busy setting everything up, going places, researching, and making sure everything was just right. It was stressful as hell, of course. But I mean, there's always a degree of stress that comes with everything, right? Either way, it was an amazing experience, and I loved it. I did. It was something I made myself, and I was so proud of it. I even had a whole team working with me, too. I just wanted to make a silly show about cool animals and mysteries that were hopefully pretty interesting. It was for my fun, too, of course. But I hoped it could make other people happy, you know? Maybe I should have seen something coming. I knew someone was going to get mad if I talked about Screeps like they weren't monsters, but I just... I thought I could handle it. I was actually proud find? of that episode before it was released. I hated it for a long time afterwards. It wasn't mentioned there, but I remember running into Screeps a lot as a kid. I went to that one park quite a bit. They've always been some of my favorite animals, and when I heard what was happening, I wanted people to know more about them. You probably already know what happened. They almost put my show on hiatus because of the reaction. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't think what I said was bad, but, and I mean now, I'm second-guessing myself again? I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I couldn't really avoid it, because this was part of my job. I kept getting mad at myself because of how much it was affecting me. I should know how to handle this, right? Maybe I could have made the episode better. Or maybe um, I shouldn't have made There are fragments of what looks like a person's shirt. That was a paper. A piece of paper. Better. Or Jordan. maybe I shouldn't have made it at all. I mean, who Ms. gets Matilda's? the opportunity to run a TV show on a big network as young as I am? I was barely out of college. And now Ms. I'm Ms. going to fuck it up. Be hmm. There's one of the scrubs. Somebody's been, or Screeps, I mean. Somebody's been trying to, like, document. Uh, because I just times. had to talk about something that mattered to me? Look what happened. I was losing sleep. I couldn't think of any good ideas. I couldn't stop thinking that I failed everyone. And eventually they told me that it would be best if my show was done after that season. Maybe a hiatus Same. would have been good. I loved it. But I think, I think I needed a break. That's a shame. It happens though. Not all shows last forever. It's the kind of the negative side to the creative world. All right, I'm here. Is the next one? I'm gonna run through all the first episodes and then we'll talk about it a little bit and move on to the side channels. 
It says nothing is working, nothing has ever worked. I think I'm realizing that now. All right. Comments were not related to the show, so we'll go ahead. I've been here. Yeah. Are you a screep? Matilda? <laughs> I don't know how long it's been. Everything's kind of fuzzy. I don't know who these people are. I don't know where anyone is. Is it still summer? It looks like it. Okay, nothing is fine. Nothing is okay. I have established that now. What does Matilda look like that? Whoa, what did she turn into for a second there? Was it just her freaking out or is she a scrub? I'm pretty sure she's a shapeshifter that became human. And thinks she has human memories or stole human memories from eating someone, maybe. Okay, go back. I want to see what she transformed into. Okay, there it was. It was very split second-y. I like the cardboard cutout, so that's cool. It's almost like the show's aging as we go, because it started out in a little box of analog horror, and now it's like getting wider and wider as it goes. Now it's like box animation. Why can't I get that frame? Come on. There we go. Now it's just... Yeah, she has three arms and three legs. She's a scrub. <laughs> A humanoid one. Weird. Okay, everything has gone to crap right now, but it wasn't like this before, right? <laughs> this is a really cool art project. I love the way it's put together. Hardware cutout things are really, always really cool. The past is concrete. It makes sense. That can tell me what these numbers of video mean. Uh, what day it is, how the heck I got here, etc. Insert good memories here. <laughs> it's like it's Scrolls trying to like become a human, trying to mimic how they are. If she is one, this kind of seems like it. Luckily, I have just the thing to check for information like this. It's a weird looking hand, but dude, you have like 80 fingers. It's like, <laughs> it's like when AI tries to make hands. Or no, are those both hands, maybe? They're like both hands, but they still don't look quite human. They have flowers coming out of them, so I'm pretty sure you're a tree creature. Actually, wait a second. I can't really remember the last time I actually looked through the stuff on my computer. Mostly, I'm just using this to put together videos or drawings. It's like a scrub ate a family and then felt bad and tried to recreate one of them. I don't know, I could be wrong. Or maybe this girl was always half one. Why are your icons all over your desktop like that? What the heck? These na these folder names. <laughs> like, is that something to decode? Forest with buddies. Minecraft launcher. Microsoft Edge. You. Steam. Game capture software. And OBS. Why do you have OBS and game capture software? OBS would do both. And sound capture software? OBS does both. Why do you have doubles? <laughs> I think I'm not making sense. There's at least uh, got to be something normal. Uh, that, wait. I think if I'm not making sense, there's at least got to be something normal in what other people send to me, right? Why is there an app called Faith? Berkeley Chris at Gmail. Might be good to take note of that too. Got it. And of course, I find strange emails. I find lots of emails from years ago that I thought I remembered, but the more I look at it, the less I'm sure. Do you want to know what's great? All of these are addressed to me, of course. These are my emails. To their email, which I already saw. Um, you're going out to get some research today, right? 
Sorry, I can't come. My parents know it's for school, but I'm still trying to convince them to let me go with y'all more often. Make sure to actually write things down instead of just looking at stuff. Okay, I do that too, but we gotta get this done. Sorry, sorry. I just get worried about deadlines. We're doing great. Fish emoji, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's a code. I'm gonna have to write that down. That, one, that means that folder on the computer probably was too. I'll have to write both those down. F-I-T-N, F-Q. Y'all are like me. When I was a kid, I used to also send my friends coded messages. Thought I was being all freaking edgy with it. I don't know. <laughs> F-R-T-H-I. Got it. Yeah, I have to write that other one down too, though. We're at 130. We'll come back to 130 after I get that file name. It is. YB. QXU. KF. Got it. Oh, wait a minute. The second line is IF. Z. Okay. Back to 130. Oh, okay, so it's to you. The email address is marked out for the person that sent it. I can't imagine someone else used my account, especially this far back. I mean, maybe. They're probably all from the actual Matilda, and you're a fake Matilda. With them. Just, that's just my working theory right now. They all could dress to me. Some are, use Matilda. Most call me Charlotte. Even ones more recent. Charlotte. Interesting. Matilda and Charlotte. I don't know it's related. Nancy the mom? Darn. <laughs> it's a big old darn. <laughs> that was a good transition. You want to hunt that deer? It's 2019 and my mom is crying in her room. When was this uploaded? My dad is somewhere else, but he's still in the house. We won't be able to go out for a long while. We don't know that yet. 2023, so this is a fairly new series then. I think I made her upset. Should I be sorry? I've never seen her like this. My brother tries to calm me down. Ty, I think his name is? Ty says not, not to listen to them anymore. I don't like uh, when... What? Is that they? they she? They look like a bunch of names. A bunch of pronouns all on top of each other. I don't like it when <laughs> talks like that. I get really scared. Should I go talk to her? What would I say? What <laughs> says Blubla is going to talk to her. I don't want him to. I don't want to. I don't want anything to happen anymore. Everyone is fighting again, but this time it's my fault. I messed up. They do so much for me. They love me so, so much. Why am I not making them happy? It should be so simple. And I'm messing it all up. There's one section left in this ARG Digest I'm working on, and this show fits really well into that. So I'm probably going to put it in that section. It's pretty serious. 
You got those writer hands. You're, you're someone who draws all the time. I can tell. I'm hiding in my room. I don't know how long it's been. I closed my door. I hope it's locked. I just need to stay here for a little bit. Maybe my whole life. Could I do that? texting me no words yet what do you mean she's sending so many pictures out in the woods that's creepy why am i so young in them was it only when i was young i messed up i don't know why i said anything in the first place why did i think they'd be okay with it this is what's going on isn't it she's an adopted screep they took the form of a human and she probably accidentally killed her family she lost control. I bet that's what happened. Because the reason they adopted a Screep is because they are vegetarian nice creatures. But there's some kind of mode in them that makes them eventually change over into more violent beings. And that happened with her and she attacked the family. That's why she's like, why well, did think they'd be okay with it when I asked that in the first place? She mentioned, why am I not an actual human? Why did you take me? Or something like that. And it caused a big unrest. <laughs> I didn't really messed up. I could have lived my whole life without, with not, wait. I could have lived my whole life being nothing. I could have said nothing. And I could have been perfect. The pressures of being <laughs> in the family, though. I get it, for sure. But this seems a little bit more like she's something special. I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll come out of my room. Maybe she'll say something, but maybe she won't. We're going to smile and hug. And she'll always say she loves me. But she won't think of me the same. Maybe we could do this forever. I think. I hope so. My lock doesn't work. 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 A thousand times. My lock doesn't work. 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 Okay, she's really freaking out. But that's that's enough of that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Matilda is either um a scrub they adopted, or Matilda killed their actual daughter Charlotte and replaced her, but they end up keeping it because it looked like their daughter. Maybe that's that's my theory so far, and that's a terrifying thought. Okay, after I'm here, we're on the last one on the main channel. My day in the big city. I'm actually curious to see what happens there. We got a Tumblr to do still. And we've also got the side channel. There's probably more. Okay, can you go back? Let's try to get them now from this one. Just this files. All right, let's continue. This one was uploaded this year, just uh, last month. Which means it's probably an ongoing series, which I'm very excited about, because that means I get to follow it. Usually I come in at the end of the series, so I'm excited. <laughs> What's that say? It says forest, 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 city. In the background. Now it's like a computer game again. There's somebody's mouse over there. That's not mine. people here yeah it's a city <laughs> it's kind of like a people zoo I'm not a big city person myself but we have a city here I like going to the city to be alone which sounds hilarious because there's a lot of people there but I don't exactly feel alone in the woods 
I go to the woods when I need to be around people. <laughs> if that makes sense. And I go to the city when I need to be alone. Yep, that's how my brain works. There's a lot of flowers everywhere. It's like everything's secretly a screep. I'm so cautious now. Overly cautious. I love Lake Bitsuka. It's so cool. It has its own beauty to it. Like a big forest. Yeah. I can see that. Where are we going? Into the fog. Where are we going? To get eaten by an eldritch creature. Where are we going? To sudden doom. Where are we going? Right here. You don't feel so scared when you know how to get around. I mean, sure, I guess. Child's doll over there. Yeah, this place is abandoned. The window world's been taken over by scrubs or something, dude. It's not good. This is really eerie. I still understand the video game elements. All my friends are here, but I can't see them. I mean, are you playing an online game with your friends or something? Like, what's going on here? I think that's what it is. She isn't actually going out into the world. She's still in that cabin. She's just visiting the virtual worlds. That's the closest she's got to her actual, her own life, basically. Why are they hiding? They don't know where they're safe. Or don't they know they're safe? I'm all alone now. See, they're afraid of her, that's what it is. Did that just, he's just moving the window. Like, the heck? <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to work. You're supposed to move the game, not the window. Whoa, whoa, okay. I don't remember when I came here or why I did, but you already knew that. Is this the actual Charlotte talking to her in her mind? What the heck's going on? I feel like you know a lot more than you're letting on. Blocking it off. Mom says her hair is getting long. So she's keeping her away from her sister. Yeah, there's definitely something up with her herself. Weird. All right. What do y'all think so far? Pretty wild series, isn't it? It's really well done, though. I really like it. Let's go through the comments real quick. Right, exactly, Zeus. Right, back when the, they found that switch, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's mine. It's like, you don't know if you own a switch. See, so it's almost like she's trying to fake her life. Trying to fake the life of the girl she replaced. Screeps are cool. I keep calling them scrops, but screeps. Oh. Yeah, fish get diseases pretty often, actually. The gill disease and stuff. I hate that. Right? It does look like Ray. <laughs> yeah, I was about to with the glitches. Yeah, it does have a, a, a tool, but uh, it always takes me forever to find it for some reason. All right, hope you have a good one, Zeus. It was good to see you. And good to see you too, TARDIS. I haven't seen you forever either. Well, since the last stream. Okay, almost done here. Yeah, she's very confused, I agree. Also, in a video game, would it make it better for you to know or not know? That's probably the right question. And I would rather know, because then I could maybe try to hack the world and do whatever I wanted to do. It's, it would not be good for me to know if I'm in a video game, because I would take advantage of that. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's a lot of fun stuff in the captions in these later videos? Gotcha. Ooh, want to play some Splatoon 3? Yes, I do. Foolish. Yes, I do. I love Splatoon. Yeah, that episode is pretty relatable. All right. <clears throat> Let's continue through the content that is related, and I guess I should actually run back and check the captions real quick. Let's start with my big day in the city. Computer fan. Beep of cars going by. Uh, click. I should have kept the captions on. Forgot to do that. I turned off earlier to get some screenshots. Click. So whenever they click, they beep boop ba doop click. It has its own beauty, like a big force. Okay, so it just tells that in the captions mainly. Click, 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 boop, boop, click. Ominous beeping. Steps, click, 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 click. Salt's in the captions in the first one. Or the last one, actually. Alright, let's open up all these real quick and I'll do the just run through the captions, see if there's anything new, and then we'll move on to the secondary material. Alright, light creature. Sounds at night. And first video. Okay. Strange backward sounding forest music. <laughs> <laughs> that right there needs to be my name on Discord. Strange, backward-sounding forest music. That sounds totally like one of my usernames. Before I move on, I'm going to actually change it real quick on Discord. If y'all are following me, or not following me, if y'all are in the Reader's Corner Discord, that's going to be my name. It's no longer GP New Shoes. I changed it so freaking much. I don't know. It just like, feels like a refresh. Speaking of refresh, I'm going to be redoing the server and a lot of crap here soon for the new wave of myself. Strange... I don't know if it can actually fit. This is pretty long. <laughs> Backward. Sounding. Oh my gosh. Stop spelling sounding wrong. He's putting a P instead of an O. Bone. You got this. Backward sounding forest music. Ah. I'm just going to put strange backward forest music because it, it can't get fit that much. Okay. And save. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's just scroll through it. Porch beeps, I don't know how long it's been. Everything's kind of fuzzy. Maybe we can get those things that were off screen now. Just a summer. Let's you backwards sounding music. Some random country song. <laughs> That's how you describe it. Okay. Anything's going to crap. Yeah, yeah. We search them, pass this concrete, it makes sense. Uh, that can tell me if these number of videos mean, day it is, how the heck I got here, etc. I just threw out the love of my dreams by Weezer starts playing. Can't remember what actually looked like off the stuff in my computer. Mostly I'm just trying to put together drawings. Okay. Nothing new yet. Oh yeah, we still need to decode that stuff. Music gets sound of wind, someone walking. Strange life by current joys fades in. It's about to get really weird. I don't know how she knows any of this stuff, but it sounds like how he told me it went, for the most part at least. Okay, we're getting some dialogue we didn't have before. Not much now, just crickets. Yeah, we definitely have to watch the rest of these with captions when the new ones come out. He says not to listen to them anymore. I don't like when he talks like that. It gets really scary.
Storage lot. Yeah, it seems to be the same. Yeah, it's the same. That's where Bush is knocking at the door. <laughs> Next. This is number two. This is what they had to take up your shift. It was! Her name is Bella! Maybe then. Maybe if y'all want, we can all. Maybe. Whoa, I saw text. But that's what they were talking about. Maybe I'll call them later. No, I I said this, and then it looks like what? Because it's dark. No. Re <laughs> He's from Forbes slower. This thing is so descriptive. Wait, what? It's already speed up. Put the actual egg. No, right? Headless thing. <laughs> Ah, yep, I was right. The trees are making people clones. They're starting to adapt. They went from vegetarian, herbivorous animals to carnivores, and now they've started to copy the apex predator, which would be humans. This one was an incomplete human. Its copy didn't quite work right, and it made a headless person instead of a full body because it just it didn't finish correctly. And what we just witnessed happening right there with the wood cracking in the hands was one of them being born, one of these humanoid, artificial, scre uh, screep people. That's exactly what we just witnessed. I, I was right. This my... seems like I was. Sir, see you in the car. The studio. There was a lot of speed just took after it got close. There's a degree of stress that comes with everything. Oh, and I was know so her story proud of it. I, in, even... but... I thought I could handle it. This is her story. I was actually one part quite a probably already know what happened, but I couldn't handle this, right? On a big network as young as I am. I was barely out of college. I was losing sleep. I couldn't think of if my show was done. It's been good. I loved it. But... This is all that. So maybe this is where I think the text cut off. So maybe we can actually read it now. It's pretty far in there. Same text so far. Forced ambience slowly getting louder. Yeah, it's a big hole. I love how they did the captions though for the text up there. Sometimes it's really blurry, so I really appreciate that. That's nice. Oh, there was a code. There was a code. There was a code. Stop. Stop. Add that to my thing. I wish I could read what that website says though. I would love to go there. It's a Wix site, but I can't read what it says exactly. Hey. No. Captions. You can't do that. You gotta show me the code. Ah, it's like one second. What the heck? Not even a whole second. There we go. Alright. It is boop, boop. H it's Hugh H U W R I T I T A Z L F B Z W R W F D U O I A R T J.
Next. Whoa, what? Here we go. Very long text block that wasn't there before. I've used it. Swing almost every day if I had the chance, or used to at least, when I was like around 15. I got pretty self-conscious, but I found a playground a little further from home that not a lot of people went to. I'm actually the one that convinced everyone to put it here. Uh, that's why there's a random swing there. I just feel like it helps me get away for a moment. I let my mind go to other places for hours sometimes without even realizing it. It makes me happy, especially when bad stuff is happening. Maybe there's a rift forming between my, uh, your friends. You have a lot of difficult decisions to make, and you need to do it fast. I feel like I should know how to handle this by now. It's not like anyone is fully wrong. At least I understand where they're coming from. When I can't help them through it, though, I feel like this happens actually with everyone I meet. Is it... It breaks off. That's not really the main thing I wanted to talk about, though. Okay, it's the same stuff. Same. Same. There's the code. Go back. Go back. Okay. So we've got that one, which is Adubu. Adubu. Huh. Run. Kwa. Run. Adubu. Huh. Yep. That's what that one says. Next. Says, her, Fadif, Lurk, That's one way to pronounce it. Look, All right. That's what it's saying at the bottom. Okay, cool. That, that does tell me now. Sweet. All right, this one is R. R. Her wolf. Anu. Fodif. Z. R. Orta. Ruf. Okay. Oh, and then that. Um, if. If la qua. <laughs> your crew. Burke. Duff. Okay. Is that the language of the. Screeps. Adubu. Dill. Whoopu. Budge. Quo. Woo. Moo. Alright. Gosh, there's a lot of code. Ah. E. Aj. Abru. Iteji Kayu <laughs> Kayu Dubu oh My gosh, there's so much Edge Hakulo of Du Kuf Ruff Edubu Roll do Adubu roll edge 
Blur. <laughs> Whoa, and it said, the flower I picked up last time it bled. It's not supposed to do that. I tried to clean it up, but it's still, but I still smell it. The whole world's turning into scrapes. It's almost like the whole world's like, You know, it actually reminds me of, it makes me think of the show Parasite, the, uh, the Parasite, the Maxim, the anime, like the world's kind of bringing out a new alpha species that's kind of taking over everything. Or like Elfin Lied kind of thing, situation. All right, next. We'll do those codes after we're done combing through all of this. Post it normal, house, uh, charter. Hmm. Wait, did I say something different? No. Okay, next, number one, I don't think there's any in these, I think that was, if there's not any in this one, I'm gonna assume there's not in the rest, because they said it was in the later videos. I mean, I saw something bigger than usual. Yes, we should. Yeah. Hey, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else. I guess I'll finish it up. I've only got like three more. Okay, that's not new. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. I won't take that long. And then we'll move on to the materials. And last. Oh, that's it. All right. So now let's check out the connected channel, Sammy, and see what happens here. Oh, one more thing I have to do on Blue Bonnet, though. I need to go to community, see what all they've been talking about. My computer asked me a question. At some point, it might tell me I would like to talk to someone. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. The grass covers the sand. Interesting. Hi y'all, want another fiction? Okay, this is, yeah, this is like out of character stuff, so I'm not really going to go into this. This is a website, though, it might be important. Mm. Important link. Wait, link hidden in code doesn't work anymore. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just not going to worry about that. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. That's pretty cool. You can actually make them change stuff, too. Sweet. Okay. So that's all in the community tab. Now let's check out the playlists. I'm going to open this one up. Now this is the main series. I don't know what amazing is, but we're going to check that out too. Um, hi. I'd like a vegan smoothie with a side of gender. Like, I don't think this is really <laughs> It seems like its own series. I could go into this later, though. Seems interesting. Pixie bird. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This it might actually be connected. This kind of confirms my theory again. It's a person with um, lies. I'd like a vegan smoothie with a side of gender. Makes me think that they are definitely a screep. I need to cook that then. Yeah. Take it to me. Um, hi, I'd like a V. Okay, let's see if I can get the transcript for this. I can just copy it that way. Captions, no, don't turn the captions off. I'm trying to get the transcript so I have to type in that thing. A side of gender. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to type it in then. I can't see the first two things, so. Oh, wait, a minute, you can move it. That works. Um. Can I just, like, copy that? No. I can move it. Alright. So it is. Make sure we got a new line. We do. It's raw, with a dash in the middle. R W I B Q U A. O Z T T Q O U Q Y T O R H Q W F N W Q E D Q I T T E I W F Q F or F Q N W E wait N W Q E A J W I A U Okay M Z F R H Q W F N W Q E E D I F Q or FQ, Q, F U T T, F D U A. I smell Kentucky Fried Chicken. Did somebody freaking get Kentucky Fried Chicken? They didn't have to go in there and eat that in a minute. Everybody needs a little KFC, especially when you're in Kentucky. <laughs> it's kind of religion here. All right, let me see. Other videos. I was like costume, behind the scenes. Okay, this is just this is like the creator channel, so I'm not gonna do too much here. That's what screeps look like, though. Those little dudes. Like their base form, I think. Alright, I am going to save that for later. I'm going to subscribe to that, for sure. And we're going to come back to that later. We need stuff that's, like, directly related. Okay. This is not even the same channel. This is just amazing, apparently. Yes, make a sequel. Okay. <laughs> now we're on the Tumblr. Forest, silly forest creature. Video game and comic book nerd. Pa park ranger. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. So it's the Forest Meadows. It's the Park Ranger's Tumblr account. Lost obscure media enthusiast. At least I pretend to be. Anyone ever get really weird lucid nightmares or like weird moments right after waking up? I have this recurring thing where I get up in the middle of the night and immediately think there's a ton of scorpions all over my bed. I need to immediately take all the sheets off and run around to get them away from me. <laughs> I'll just be pacing around my room for like two minutes and then finally think, oh, that's not something that just happens. Then I have to try to calm down enough to go to sleep again. I'm not really afraid of scorpions outside of that. I don't exactly know what causes it. It's a cool pick. Spiders and their kin. Are you saying that they're similar to spiders maybe? Or are you just studying spiders? I don't know why I wanted to... We're probably talking about scorpions. It's because they're also arachnids. But anyway, I don't know why I wanted to go on that whole little rant. But on sort of, but on a lighter sort of related note, I was looking through these various boxes of goodies and found this little arachnid book. We used to sell them in the park gift shop. It's a good read. Why aren't my dreams? Why don't you just stay in my head? Are you projecting your dreams into the real world? The joints book are actually so good though. My friend is talented. Found a pic of them opening for a band for a bit back. This, I wonder who your friend is. <clears throat> I feel so bad it was an awesome opportunity, but I randomly got I randomly got really sick right before I could right before so I couldn't play. They were just like, I'll think of something. 
heard they did great. I need to start playing drums again so I can catch up with them. We've just been busy. Random cookie. <laughs> yeah, you can't see their face, unfortunately. Does that mean there's a scrape? <laughs> I'm the best with outfits. I just got this awesome shirt and jacket thing combo. I'll pair it with some pink pants or something. I like the Kirby. Duck shirt. Yes. Also got this random shirt. For a friend who wears goofy, goofy stuff like that. I wear goofy stuff like that. Successful shopping day. That's on Screeps. They are pretty cool. I think they get a bad rap sometimes. But, I mean, they found a super weird, cool niche to fill. Like a chameleon on steroids or something. They move around a lot now, but I see them while working sometimes. I recommend feeding them something small like blueberries if you ever see one and want to. Little guy saw earlier seemed he was posing for me. <laughs> Squirrels. I saw a, a sweet deer walk uh, wait, on my walk today. Oh yeah, it's the deer video we saw. Glad I've been seeing more of them again. I was getting worried. Sorry the camera quality's a little terrible. No, why are you making me continue with Google? Can we not? Mm. Come on. Why is it classified? All right, give me one second. I am going to make this invisible for a second so I can <laughs> not leak all my account information. One second. What do you mean I'm signed out? One second, guys. I'm going to get it back on. Give me a second. I have a long password. And you definitely could have saw it, so it's a good thing I am made everything invisible for a second. I don't want to start a Tumblr blog. Blog name. I guess GP Reads. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and make it reappear. Actually, one second. September. I'm gonna put my birthday in. Stop talking about birthday. I don't want to think about it. Okay, we're in. I'll turn it back on now. Boop. All right. Now, can we scroll to the bottom? Oh, it's a kit. Why was the kitten the classified thing? You can't see this kitten. He's too cute. That was the only thing that was hidden was that freaking kitten. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, Sammy. Let's see what's going on. Does Sammy have a community page? Yes, they do. Let's read these first. Okay. I was just checking websites back up. Guess they were changing providers or something. anti scrap website. Neo Cities, yay! I was trying to get to that. We need to keep that. I think it somehow got even more but phone. <laughs> Hope y'all have been having more luck. I got the courage to watch some of the more recent videos on Not Matilda's channel. I feel like this is a lot more complicated than I originally thought. Hey guys, sorry it's been a minute. I don't know how I lost track of time. I got a few updates in this little case of mine, though. Obviously, a lot has happened. Where are we at? All right. First of all, the site I posted on about got taken down. I don't know why, how recent this was. I'm sure it wasn't anything I, we did, but pretty sketchy anyway, so maybe they're dealing with something behind the scenes. Hopefully it comes back, though, because that's literally one of my only leads. I don't know if I'm just looking the wrong place, but I can barely find anything about Screeps besides my phone thinking I'm searching for something else similarly named, or like one Tumblr post. I swear they found, I swear they sound familiar. As for Matilda's channel itself, I don't know. Almost right after I posted some strange channel vid, there was uh, something uploaded onto it that didn't even look like anything she made. She was a really broken down cabin though. This was also a year ago, there's like a lot. I might make another video when I have the time, but I hope this helps a little with the update if you haven't already looking yourself it does seem like a few people have or have almost figured out a full cipher for that little code thing real matilda found so i guess that's cool 
Anyway, uh, shout out to the six people reading this. <laughs> Love you all. All right, and last post. Been finding surprisingly little to no info on what scrapes are, but I did get this. It's some website that's really badly designed. It's probably a, <laughs> a little easier to look at on desktop. I don't know how reliable it is, but it's a start. What do y'all think about it? This is probably the one that got taken down. Yeah, and it got re-uploaded to a Neo Cities, which is honestly better. And it's free hosting. So problem is you've got to know how to code a little bit. Alright. If you can find it in, in your in the kindness of your heart to sign this petition and donate to the cause, you can help us promote good value across our beautiful state. As you know, our efforts have already had some effect. Over the past years, we have been able to get some par parks to listen and stop promoting support of these strange creatures. But the work is not done. Join us and become a defender of your safety today. Be strong and let your heart take coverage. All of you who hope in the Lord. What? Okay, be strong and let your heart take cover take courage. All you hope in the Lord. Psalms 31, 2 and 4. Or, no, 24. It's, there looks like a space there, but there wasn't. Anti-screeps. That is what they look like little mole looking things and there is a welcome video join us join crazy. us in the effort to save you and your children from the danger that is screeps in recent years there's been a growing number of people in support for nature and love for everyone these so-called free thinkers want to let screeps freely run rampant throughout our great state, claiming that they want to protect wildlife. Now come on, we know what's going on, don't we? They're just trying to control your thoughts. I mean, Here at the Coalition on, of Parents and Like-Minded Individuals... It went from docile to predators to super predators hunting us, <laughs> trying to become the new apex. But maybe there's a different branch, maybe there's government experiments, maybe this is their retaliation for this group going against them, I don't know. There's something weird going on with them. Though. For the protection of wildlife and our well-being in Texas, we fight for your right to protection, as that's something that everyone and things should have. But we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Even in school, children as young as one year old are being indoctrinated to believe that they should make a safe environment for all animals, even if they are life-threatening. <laughs> Screeps as a whole are unpredictable creatures that can camouflage into whatever fits in the moment to trick a vulnerable bystander. Who knows who could be affected next if you don't act? With your help, we can prevent any possible danger to our well-being. It is our constitutional First Amendment right to speak up and fight for what's best. Sign our petition today. Hmm. Guessing the donate is a Patreon. <laughs> says goes to helping fight for safety. Let's see what it brings us to. anti script new cities number one. There's a light I can't turn on. Spiders. Let's check the source code. That is not the source code. That is the inspect button that I accidentally pushed. There we go. Um... I'm on Brave. I can't remember how you do it on Brave. Might have to actually bring this part over to... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to bring this part over to um, Google Chrome. Because Brave's weird about it. I think I still have that open. I'm just going to leave it over there, unless I actually find something. And then I'll, I'll change it over. Okay, it's just a picture user. There's nothing you can do there, so it's fine. It is a code, though. Oh, hello. Hello, bugs. More codes I gotta write down. Okay, uh, can we loop that? Um, no. I'll come back to that, because I'm gonna have to write down really fast, and I can't do that very fast because of the uh, setup here. We will come back to that. I can make it loop though, it said. Let's try it again.
Yeah, it goes too fast. I can't even get to mount. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna make a note to come back to that later. Alright. Close that down. Um, I do need to go back to the website though. Alright, so that was the donate button. Now we got evidence button. Evidence, need proof how dangerous scrapes can be. You don't need to look hard. These cacti have been destroyed by harmful scrape interference. You can easily tell from their color. The destruction has was clearly caused by rabid scrapes. They have only created disturbances that hurt the public. Bridge falling. This area is probably ravaged by scrapes who do not belong in the environment. You don't have any proof of this, though. You're making all this stuff up. These vines are most likely scrapes leeching off this old tree. Picking stuff up. Some pretty white spherical flowers. This is conspiracy theory. This is stuff we've been talking about recently. Can I move that, please? Pretty white spherical flowers that look something like stems pointing out of them. They're being held to the camera person's hand. New. Not for the faint of heart. Shocking true news from uh, last year reveals the true horror of what scrapes can do. Like two people but they're not actually going to show us <laughs> okay oh, there, i can do the page source i'm just missing it all right now we're in the page source right, donate just those whoa yeah there's some stuff here um, this deer lives in ver fear every day of scrapes turning into wolves or something and attacking it. Can't you see the fear in its eyes? All right. Let's go back to home. Page source. Okay, this is just like says, use style.css file allows you to change the look of your web page. You include the line. Yeah, it's just like info, basic info. Mission by Mr. and Mrs. Archer. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Archer are the ones behind it. Some green text. The video explaining why you should support our cause. Thank you to Mr. Anderson Bridge and other families for your help with the website and general support. So there's names we need to be looking for. Anderson Bridge and Mr. and Mrs. Archer. So the white blobs are the baby scrapes. Untrans un transformed basically. Uh, let's see. Sorry, there's an error building the page. Or the petition. Be the page source. No. Okay. So you can no longer sign it. I don't know if you ever could before, but you can't now. Contact page, question, concerns, comments, want to support our future or us further. Contact us now to learn more. And there's that thing I got earlier. Cold palm lift power. Vote. Yeah, that's the email I got earlier. I'm going to go ahead and email them. Uh, no, actually, I've got it in my notes. I'm going to email them later. That's all I see here. Upcoming event. Join us for a special gathering this summer where we'll show one of our local parks we are not going to allow any more endangerment of our and our children's lives. Event being held at RML State Park, June 2017. Email for more information. RML State Park. I'm going to write that down in my notes. Okay. If anybody got that code and that video thing under uh was it donate no it's evidence or whatever i don't know that one page where it went really fast i think it was donate yeah on this if anybody got the code from that could you please put it in the live chat because i can't grab fast enough before i get to my tools all right so that's everything on blue bonnet now we're moving over to sammy which is sammy archer it's people going against her so i probably need to be subscribed to that too 
or kind of the inverse screeps. I mean, not her, but it's the screeps. Let's see what their videos are all about. With captions on. MC Escher was an extremely talented and creative artist who made things from paintings to woodworks. Born in Leuarden, in Netherlands in 1898, he actually first tried to learn architecture. When he found that it wasn't his calling, he moved to a school for graphic design, a decision supported by his then teacher. Afterwards, he moved to Italy, where he met his- Okay, so this little thing about a cool artist, did this at the beginning of ninth grade for class, got a 90, sorry for the voice crack this stuff. I think it did a few takes, but eh. Okay, random. Wife, as well as did a lot of his lithographs, woodcuts, and wood engravings. He made 448 of these things during his life, as well as over 2,000 drawings and sketches. The thing that he is most famous for is his impossible looking artwork and illusions. They play around a lot with combining the real and the imagination, often tricking the brain in a fun way. He was also very good at combining math and art, which is shown in a lot of his pieces that are called tessellations. Tessellating is basically a technique where you create a collection of repeating images that fit perfectly and tile together. He pushed this style to new heights, making things like tessellating animals and other complicated shapes. One of his most famous works is Hand with Reflecting Sphere, which plays around a lot oh, with perspective, good. another thing he was really good at showing. Personally, my three most favorite pieces oh, of his cool are Circle Limit 3, screeps. Metamorphosis 2. Metamorphosis 2, yeah, it's this is where they got the idea for Screeps. It's these little things, and then Metamorphosis, they're transforming into things. Like birds into buildings, combs into bees into birds into fish, and then kind of back and forth. Weird. So this is the idea, though. And ascending and descending. I like the first one because I think tessellations are really cool, and I also like how this again uses perspective and math in an interesting way. It almost That's looks like it's perfectly on a sphere, and I believe mm -hmm. it shows complicated measurements with the white lines. The next is another one that uses tessellation, which I think is super interesting because, as it says in the name, it really shows the process of metamorphosis. The tiling shapes change as you go across the woodwork, but they still tessellate, going from fish to birds to buildings and stuff like that, and then you're basically back in the beginning. It's like an endless cycle before you can even fully tell that you're looking at something new. The last one I like because of the yeah, design sure of it all. One. It's fun to try to make sense of what's going on in the <gasps> center with the- That's why it shows these three. It's the it's this process of evolution for these creatures. They start out as little screeps, then they turn into animals, and then the final step is to become humans. That, like I was saying, the alpha predators. At the same time, it's surrounded by a beautiful building. That's why they're. I also think it's pretty buildings. funny how all the people in it look okay with what's happening, like it's a normal situation or something. As you can see, MC Escher has had a large impact on the art world. Thank you for watching my presentation on this topic. Yeah, if y'all want to play some, anyone wants to play Splatoon after this, um, I will just DM me on Twitter or Instagram or uh, Discord, and I will give you my friend code, and we will play some Splatoon online. I love freaking Splatoon. Anybody else an S rank? In <laughs> I'm not on my new account, but um, my brother's actually a lot better than me, but he's like an S plus. But anyway, Scooby trailer made. Splinks. Gotcha. Expect the first vid. All right, so that's that one. First video on Sammy. Second one is crab hunting. <laughs> Interesting. Hello, dog. Hello, Adobe. No captions on this one. Crabbed. A few weeks ago, we went to the coast to catch and release some crabs with friends. It was really fun when the families had a house out there. So hopefully, probably the person missing, Madeline, is out there. So hopefully, we'll be able to go back sometime before the summer ends. Stock dog photo. It's a family by the coast, so all of us are heading there. I had no idea crab hunting was a thing, but it sounds fun. Kind of, I guess. Gosh, I love riding in planes! If y'all haven't ridden in a plane before, sometime in your life, try to ride on an airplane. It's awesome. You look down at the clouds. Isn't that wild? You see all the, like, cities and little blocks and stuff. Look, I can edit on iMovie. We met our friends at the beach. I really like the bridge they left. Oh, I thought they were. Okay. Oh, it's that bridge of photo, isn't it? Hey. 
I forgot to get very good video, but the other younger kids were super excited. They sound excited. I had to go off my own and get this though. Little crab. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, okay. <laughs> cutie. I'm trying to catch him. I do not know if... Look at that guy. He's so cool. He's like clean in his eyes. Don't kill Grab him, me, please. <laughs> Little man. So you like, can't kill what... you. He's a crab. What it looks like... Ended up working out. Wait, that ended up working out, but we did get a few. That's cool. Penny, Bob, Matt, <laughs> Penny, Bob, and Matt. Crabs. Watch them be scrubs. Or not scrubs. See scrub. Watch them be screeps. They end up taking over this family. Absorb. Not absorbing, but replacing these people. Sedatives for fun Alright, and then the last video is Strange Channel. This is where it actually connects into our, the main series. Let's help us figure this out, Matilda Olive. Sorry for the wall of text. I've been losing my voice the past few days. Hopefully it's not too much to read. I do have a small thing to add, though. A little after I finished this video, Matilda told me she found something on an old forum talking about the Screep stuff. Kind of looks like part of a cipher for a code. Don't know if it's related to anything much, but it's something that feels super important. Maybe we can find another part of it. Oh, there's I-C-K-F-I-A-D. And then there's the translation. I think this is the full key, or it should be at least close enough to figure it out. Cool. I'm going to keep that for my notes. Uh, instead of screenshotting it, I'm just going to copy and paste it in my notes. That's, that's pretty good. It should be pretty close. Okay. Recently I got a strange looking YouTube video recommendation. I didn't really think about watching it the first time it showed up, but it was one of those one of those things that I kept getting in my recommendations, so I checked out the channel. It seemed relatively new, with three videos all that had barely any views on them. All of them looked a little weird, so I started watching the first one thinking it could maybe be a silly web series, which is getting started with something. It was something much stranger than that, but I'll get into what I found out after showing you the first one. That's the end of that. The first thing that surprised me is when I started watching is that I did I know this person. I didn't realize it at first, but I'm pretty sure this is the YouTube channel. Me and Matilda are good friends and have hung out a lot in and out of school. I don't remember them saying that they're planning a long trip this summer, but of course they were staying at looked like the one they've been to. Matilda and I are both into crypto type stuff, which seems a bit generic. No offense, dude, sorry. So I was hoping that these were just going to be some fake videos about go back about strange creatures or something. Part of me was a bit concerned though, so I watched the next video to see if I could get any more. Than there isn't too much to talk about from the next one, though it was pretty strange. But the third one got me uh, got me much more worried. I definitely saw something last night. I'll talk about what I've been doing first. Yes, yeah, it's, it's already seen this one. That's where the rain creature made its appearance. <laughs> this one sort of seemed that there was some monster in the woods with them. They also mentioned those creep things again. 
I have no idea what those are. They sound sort of familiar. I feel like I heard about them somewhere a while ago, but I don't know. I just wanted to make sure things were okay, so I left a comment on the latest video asking how things were going and stuff. Okay, that's where I found you. I got a reply letter saying hi and, and all that, but then I also sent them an email. I told her to respond to the email in the next few minutes, and what they said it only, makes, <clears throat> only made things much weirder. Hey, Sammy. It's good to hear from you. Thanks for checking up on me. But, uh, that is weird. That, this isn't me. Where did you find this? Do you know what park they're in? Oh, that is weird. Yep. It's the Screep. It's copying Matilda. They told me the videos were, uh, weren't even theirs. They insisted that they didn't know anything about it. The Screep just thinks it's them. Based on the response I got in the comments, this couldn't have been the case of a person with the same name. Matilda also mentioned in a later email that they lost their first laptop a few months ago and haven't been able to find it since. Hmm. Yep. Sounds like what's going on. Um, what was this YouTube channel then? Some weird prank? Why would this person be pretending to be my friend in this way? Me and Matilda talked about it and we wanted to try to figure some things out. We're going to look into who this is and well, as the park they're staying in, uh, and the Screeps, maybe those are some animal or something. If you can, we'd appreciate any information you have. If you're able to find anything about the situation, please comment on this video and we can talk about it. There's a lot of things I'm confused about right now. Go back. Nothing's confused about right now. I just want to figure out what's going on. Thank you for your help. For helping us anyway, I'll make sure to uh, post more updates, add some of the comments, and find anything. Right now. Okay, so. Oh, come on. Come on, back out. Hey, go back. Okay, stop. I'm not on my. Why did it switch accounts? Okay, random. Alright, one second again. I'm going to have to. Me just a second and sign in again because apparently it doesn't want me to be in my actual YouTube. What the heck? I'm not on Brave still? No, I am. Excuse me? Alright, one second, guys. I'm just changing my email. Don't want you to see my password and stuff. One second. Almost got it. Oops, I forgot to change my password. One moment. I try to change my password every couple months, but sometimes I get <laughs> mixed up with the other ones because I've had so many. Luckily, I memorized all of them. Okay, I just got to confirm. And I can't because my phone's dead. Try tapping yes on another phone. If it'll let me. It will not. Screw you, dude. I'll comment later. Just trust me. I'll comment later. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna give my theory later. All right. So that's all the videos. That's that's actually everything except for the Caesars. So let's decode those real quick. I'm just gonna copy them from my notepad. Let me turn you all back on to the page. All right. So we got the emails. I'm going to email them later, and I'm going to comment on that video later. Braves being dumb, so. Yeah. It signed me out and signed me into an old account that I do not use anymore. All right, let's auto-solve it. It says, time... What? Tied to your poor with evil? Most... <laughs> I don't think it's quite getting it. Most me, her, need compso. Must me, red, me, humans. Time to sun good with Mickey. Did I type something wrong here? Hmm. Marry me. He'd been camp gra. I mean, we could try the code. It would be O. 
R F Yeah, I don't think that's it. Or F W no, it would not be it. Try to something again. Time to time to look with me, son, as I think it says. I don't know, that doesn't make sense. Alright, let's try it in the other code. Try it in crypty. I mean decoder. Brute force it. I'm not a robot. And you have no idea. All right, let's go back and do it this way then. Let's let's decipher it. All right, paste, analyze text. It thinks it's that one. Monoalphabetic cipher. Okay. Auto solve. Time to sun good with with me. <laughs> Side so now took Hespi. Hard he let me Morka. Okay, we're gonna skip the first one. I'll, I'll type something wrong or something. All right. Next is that if zoo thing. This one says housing agree. Yeah, it's housing agree. Pretty sure. Wait, did they did it just close down? No. Yeah. Hey FNAF girl, how you doing? Just trying to figure this crud out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to say housing agree. I don't, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Let me just grab all of it. Maybe I can figure something out. Here is all of it. Good luck. Long time, solve this one. Talk to you soon. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Talk to you soon, Matilda. Project stuff denial must run in the family. Where did I come from? Uh, didn't I see that welcome sign where I didn't make that up? I filmed it at some point. Right where has everyone uh, been? Me and my friend always come here. Why doesn't he get it? Where is he? Where is my my C? Where's my son, maybe? I'm in a room full of people. I don't know who all want to know my name, but I... But I don't... What? Uh, but I don't know what to tell them. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's right. So I think we're getting messages from the brother, maybe? Possibly? And Matilda doing Project Denial. Or no, this is different. Project Stuff, I guess. Project Stuff was one of them. And then, uh, talk to you soon, Matilda. And then, Denial must run in the family. What's the hidden messages? I guess she's just denying she's one of the creatures. That seems to be kind of the hidden theme here. All right, and us, what's left on my notes is the state park thing, which I will look into. I will email those two, and I'll comment later on. I'm going to go ahead and give you all my summary, and then if you all want to chat about it for a little bit, we can, and we'll jump off from there. Go ahead and wrap this guy up. I was going to do some games tonight, but... My HDMI splitter didn't come in, and it's going to be laggy as crap, so I'm going to wait on that. We'll just do a separate stream that's just games for fun. We'll play, like, Mario and stuff. I've got uh, some extra days off next week, so we'll just do it then. Or this weekend, maybe? Whenever it comes in. I've got to wait for the other one to be returned to Amazon before I can get them switched. I'm not going to pay extra, so... <laughs> Alright, anyway. So my summary of this series is... Well, first of all, it's really cool. I really like that you used all the 8-bit and analog designs. It's very cool. I love old PC games, so that was a very excellent mode of uh, telling the story. Really cool format, really unique. The story is similar enough to fit into the vein of analog horror, like uh, things like Vita Carnus and stuff, but it's also different enough, and with all the other elements attached, that it makes it unique and very interesting and very fun. So, excellent work. I really did enjoy this one. And I like also that you included other elements like um, the Tumblr blog and the extra channels. I love when there's more than one element, more than one piece to it. And I also love it when that's not the brunt focus, the website too. But it's uh, 
it's like extra. Like you figure it out in advance. If you, you don't have to have the other pieces to make the story, but if you go to those other pieces, you can get the story quicker. That is perfect. That is the ultimate ARG, in my opinion, because you shouldn't depend so heavily on the extra things. Now, there are some that work better that way, though. I'm not going to bash anybody who does that. What I prefer in a web series is that you can get all of the normal content from the videos unless now this is a big unless unless the main videos are a front for something darker going on in the background that works really well with reinhardt quiet quest because it seems like this funny the high action high energy thing but then there's a really dark story behind it now that's that is a totally different thing though that's that's also a perfect form of arg that, that i feel like you can really go one of two modes you can have everything on the youtube with the extras solving it quicker like dad fills and like blue bonnet or you can have the other aisle, which is a bright story with a dark background. I think that's the two, my two favorite at least, types of ARG. But I really like the way you did this, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All that to say this, that I, this is one of the two modes that I really enjoy. This is one of my more uh, preferred methods, because I do like to go back and find the lore and stuff and theorize. This gives you a good chance to theorize uh, without making that absolute distinction. But anyway. I do really like Greenheart Quiet Quest too, though. It's really freaking cool and really well done and also multimedia. But that that's beside the point. I, would, I just wanted to say that to say that I wasn't bashing on that type of content because I do like both about the same. It's just this particular show being executed in this format was the best way it could have been done. And I do believe that. So you did an excellent job with the package and delivery. Um, now, as far as the actual story, what I think is going on, my working theory is that... I'm not sure how they got started. I'm not sure if it was just an animal that has evolved over time to mimic other things. Or if it's alien, or if it's spirits, or if it's fae. I, I don't know for sure. But whatever their origins are, the species, and that's why the MC Escher School Project thing was so important. The species started out as just beings that changed shape. They just kind of... As we saw in some of the pictures, they start as little worm things and they would grow legs to move around quicker, or accomplish certain tasks. Then they started copying the plant. Actually, they might have started first with plant life. They started copying. No, I'm not. I don't believe that. I think they first just kind of grew parts to mimic other things. Then they started actually mimicking true other living organisms all the way down to the texture and the way they look. And they started becoming trees and plants and actually looking like trees and plants and not just growing limbs. Then they continue to evolve into from flora into fauna into actual animals and stuff and started hunting other animals. And that's actually when they transitioned from being a herbivore species to a carnivore species because they needed the DNA from the animals to become the animals. And they just kept evolving and changing through the different animal species. Then they encountered humans and humans have a lot more opportunity. Humans are the apex predator, the apex species, so to speak. And they're also more intelligent. So now they're trying to copy humans. And it seems that from their tree state is where they begin the replication. And the eggs seem to be by trees. It's like they're born from the trees. And as we saw in that one, the hands pulling the tree apart, they're creating human replicas inside of the trees. And I don't think they're just making human bodies. I think they're actually replicating people who have been to these parks. Anyone who's visited parks, they're replicating those humans. And that's why we have the Matilda clone. That's why we have this Matilda that doesn't have any memories except the vague ones that they would have had at the park anyway, talking about their parents, seeing their parents, seeing the way they ran away and just run off into the woods and spend time alone away from the family. It, it just got those memories because that's what it saw. That's what the trees saw, so to speak. I think they're like an underground mycelium and the trees are kind of their flowers or their buds, their fruit. And then the things come forth from them. And it, this one copied Matilda. That's one we're seeing now. It took them a while to get it perfected. Uh, there was one that didn't do quite right, and it just made a, a headless body. But we saw that they're actually able to start replicating people now through Matilda. That's the first one that was a success that we know of. There may be others. But that's a really terrifying thought because that means they're going to keep going, and eventually they may become the new alpha species of this planet and overtake and consume and possibly overthrow humanity. Whatever this species is, it's hyper-aggressive in an invasive format. And then we've got... The, the funny thing is... It's kind of turning the the green stuff and the climate change and then the conservation stuff on its head. Because instead of trying to protect nature and wildlife and things like that, you almost need to go against it. 
because these things in nature are trying to t basically take over the world. But at the same time, are they truly a part of nature, or are they some kind of invasive species from another planet, or something of that nature? That's the real question. But we don't have those answers yet. We're going to have to wait and see, because this show is ongoing, and I'm really excited about that. I'm glad I get to follow it towards the beginning, or at least midway, partway. <laughs> Because I will definitely be following this series and making update videos and things. And I might actually make a theory video or a dive type video at some point. Because I really, really do like this series. I like the story they're trying to tell. And it's really interesting to me. All this parasite and then replacements and fauna and flora, evolution things. That, that's, this is totally my alley. So really appreciate what you did with this series. I really enjoy it. And I hope you all did too. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to read some comments real quick, and then I'm going to jump off for the night. But uh, thank you all again for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to try to stream again more regularly. Excuse me. I'm also going to be doing different kinds of videos, uh, better videos, hopefully. And just there's going to be a whole lot of really big, good changes coming up. There's going to be stuff for the patrons. There's some really cool things I've been working on for a while for the patrons. Um, we're also going to be taking trips, patron-exclusive trips. Uh, we'll be doing patron-exclusive streams again. And uh, we'll also be doing some behind the thing, behind the scenes things that you won't see anywhere else. There's gonna be some videos I'm gonna upload that only patrons will see, and it will never be public. It's stuff that's just for you all. All that's coming up really soon. I'm working hard on everything. Working hard on the animation, or not really animations, but the animatics for the Gorillas project we're working on. Uh, I've got interviews, and like I said, I'd like to interview the person who made this for sure. Reach out to me, and also, um, I just. I've got a lot of stuff coming, a lot of really cool things coming, a lot of new theory videos, new shows, all kinds of stuff. So hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned. I will see you all very soon. And I hope you'll have a great night. Like I said, I'm going to read the comments real quick and then I'm going to hop out of here. Make sure I've got all messages on. Yeah, it's being dumb. I have to reboot it. All right, there we go. Okay, we're good on live chat. I caught up. All right, hope you all have a great night. I will see you all in the next one. But until then, as always, keep your eyes wide open and never stop reading.